We just made these three levels of lanterns easy, easier, and easiest, and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? We do too, and we have a new video each week. This week, we're shining a light on an old project. We're doing three levels of lanterns. We're gonna do a level like very little woodworking skills. A second level where you need to be able to do some kind of woodworking. And then the third level, no woodworking. <laughs> yes, these are for your, so what we were thinking is now we've entered into November and we're starting to look towards, I know we've already done some Christmas because Christmas is coming early for everyone this year, I think. So we've entered November and so I thought we'd start looking forward to Thanksgiving and what can we do for Thanksgiving because we're all gathered together this year but in our smaller pods, so. Oh, yeah. We usually have a, a giant Thanksgiving. Like I think we had 24 people last year. It's a really large group, but this year, I'm Four not sure us. that's going to be the case. Yes, we still have two still at home. I think there's gonna be four for Thanksgiving this year. Well, he doesn't know this, but I think we're gonna, two of the others are gonna come too. But anyway, uh, I wanna make three lanterns for our table. Small, medium, large, uh, easy, easier and easiest lantern number one step one we're gonna gather all of our supplies first we needed a vase so we went to the hobbs lobs hobby lobby <laughs> he always calls it the hobbs lobs hobbs lobs i can't even get it out <laughs> so we basically collected all of our materials from hobby lobby we were trying to make this pretty simple we didn't start out that way but as we walked around we found all the all kinds of goodies that we could use to build this lantern these are uh seven by seven uh pre-routed boards you see and i think Very we could nice. use that as the base and as the top and then for the top i'm going to use uh, a stacked or layered um routed boards as well so this is a five by five set this and those a, are yeah. four by four so that that and then I found this little topper here. It's just a finial, curtain finial. Um, and I thought we could put that as a top. And then the, the sides and the edges will be this- um, Three quarter this? inch dowel. Yeah. It's like Three quarter by dowel. three quarter inch square. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. It's pretty easy. It's gonna be like four cuts. Do we wanna measure? Measure that? Let's yes. Measure that. So we also picked up these little um, yeah, vases that. from Hobby Lobby. Oh, okay. Let's measure that right there. Okay. And so we're going to build this one to kind of meet the specs of this. So that's 10 inches. Well, no. Yeah, there. Oh, that's nine and a quarter. Nine and a quarter inches. I don't know if you guys saw the other day. But me and the pocket saw went out for a whole day. <laughs> Here you go. All right, cutting two at a time. We're cutting so, this. Yeah. What was it? Five and Four five and eighths. Four and five eighths. Step three, now we're just gonna assemble it. A little bit of glue, a little bit of nails, two little frames. You get the gist. A little bit of glue. We're just gonna hit it with an inch and quarter brad. The nail, not the guy. Step 
good to go. All right, vase number one uh, done. What did that take, like 10 minutes? Yeah. If that. All right, we'll set this one aside for paint. Looks cute, I like it. Lantern number two. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We, again, at Hobby Lobby, picked up some one by ones. Then we got a piece of trim. They were gonna make X's in our lantern. So what is that? One. A quarter by one? Yeah, it's like half by three quarter. Oh, okay. Half by three quarter. Yeah. A one by two, just to help with the frame. A one by six, we really just need six inches of this one by six. And a one by eight. We just needed two pieces that are one by eight by eight. A little piece of a two by four, like square. We're just making everything squared off. Glue, nails. You know, the, the whole shebang. Step two. Look really cool in your glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Step three. Make all of your cuts. We're just gonna cut the one by six to, you know, six inches by six inches. The one by eight to eight by eight. Yeah, we're just squaring everything off. Everything's getting a, everything's getting a square. And now we're gonna assemble it. Again, same as the first one. A little bit of glue, a little bit of brad nail, and uh, we're just making some frames and then pinning those frames together. Using our little uh, one by twos and our uh, one by one. All right, got our two frames. Now we're gonna make some X's. So in theory, the easy way to cut this trim is to lay the frame over it and see where it goes and just mark it, cut it. Then you don't have to figure out angles or anything. So we have our frame all together for this one. We're just gonna make these X's on two sides so I can get the uh, candle holder in and the vase in and out of here. So we're gonna put the this is the bottom, I guess. The one by eight, yeah. I'll put one screw in the middle until the paint dries. Thank you. Wow, did that crack the two by four? Yeah. We're just gonna leave it right there. Okay, let's just leave it right there. Lantern number three. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our materials. We needed a, a vase and some MDF. This one's an easy one. That's it. That is it. And some paints, if you wanna paint it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. Gonna take the MDF over to the Glowforge and cut out my lantern. Step three, now we're gonna assemble it. Just uh, putting it together. It's like a puzzle. Here's my bottom piece. It's a Here's solid my sides. base. Yep. My sides with the tabs, the top, so you can reach in and grab stuff, the other top. That's all top pieces. What's nice about this one is the top will be removable, so you'll access the vase from top down rather than having to slide it in. This one has all four sides. All right, this is how we found is the best way to assemble. Do the bottom and the top on one of the sides, and do the other side. Matching, no tabs. Now the tabs. Now I'm putting the little, I don't know, what these things are braces? Yeah. Bell tower, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Into this little top that has slots. Now I'm putting them into the other top, the window top. 
Now you put the topper in the little topper piece holder. Done and a done. Now it just needs to go to paint. Which one do you think was the easiest? My vote, a Glowforge, hands down, no glue, no real cutting. Yeah. But I had to do. Just snapped it together, bim bam. Yeah, that was definitely the easiest. This one was pretty easy. Runner up, yep. Purchased all these little pieces, just stacked them and glued them. Four cuts. Just a little nail to make the frame, but other than that, it was, it was good to go. Uh -huh. That was super easy. Pretty easy. This one wasn't too bad either. The only challenging part was to do these X's and it just took a little bit more time uh, with the frame itself. It was easy. Nothing the little uh, wood glue couldn't fix. Yeah, uh, little um, wood, wood filler. filler. Yeah. yeah, wood so filler looks amazing. So we added the X's only on two sides so that you could slide the little base in here. I love them. I think they look great, and I'm totally going to put on. them on our uh, Thanksgiving table. Oh, yep, yeah, that's right. Speaking of Thanksgiving, we're about out of time. So uh, we're going to go hit the after show and then dinner. And we'll see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I'm going to try to balance this jam right here with the pack. This right. time with a better outcome. We will have this lantern in our store, so uh, Not you can this go one, to oh, oh, KNG Make It. Hey, Kevin, oh. What is it? Is Ooh. it KNGMakeIt.com? <laughs> it was almost lights out for that guy. Mm. But look how well it held together, even after you grabbed the top. Yeah, not bad.